What's up guys, so recently the iPhone 2G was released on June 29th, 2007. So I just wanted to take a look back and see what has changed throughout all these years. A lot has changed through the software and hardware. I'm taking a look at iOS 10 versus iOS 3. I tried to downgrade it to iOS 1, but that didn't work. First, I'm going to take a look at the calendar app. You can see just opening the page, a lot has changed, but I'm not going to go into all that. But I'm just taking a look at the photos, and you now have a bunch of new options. It's just really cool to see how much the UI has changed. And the difference here is one camera is good and the other is pretty trashy, but the iPhone 2G camera is like 2 frames per second. It's really slow, but I just think it's so cool to see how far we've come. Now we can swipe down for spotlight search. In the old phone, you had to swipe left. You can still do that on iOS 10 and 9, but... Even just turning on the phone, Apple removed like my favorite feature. They removed the slide to unlock. Now they have like this stupid widget thing, which is cool, but I just prefer the slide to unlock. But that just shows how much the software has changed in like 10, I think it's been nine years, but yeah, that's that. It's pretty cool. But And in iOS 3, Apple provided a YouTube app, but sadly it no longer works. And yeah, a lot has changed. Basically, everything on this phone's outdated, the app store doesn't work, and it's just overall pretty, pretty slow. I just pulled up my YouTube channel, because why not? It's awesome. But um, opening up Safari, I'm just going to type in my channel. Okay, so I typed in All I Talk is Tech, and let's see which one pulls up the page first. Okay, so as I said that, the iPhone 5S pulled that up really fast, and the iPhone 2G wasn't really too far behind. But let's see how it can load a video. Um, which video? I guess I'll just do the iOS 10 video, because that seems appropriate for this. And the iPhone 5S isn't too slow, but it's not very fast, judging, like, it's taking this long to load. But the iPhone 2G, like, doesn't even load it at all, so props to the iPhone 5S. And one of the apps I probably use the most is music. So... There has been a lot that has changed within nine years. Holy smokes. So starting off, you could, I really miss like the tabs at the bottom. If you look at the bottom of the iPhone 2G right there, these tabs, I really miss. I use these a ton. Well, used these a ton. But like now we, I don't, we have like these really bad options here. I don't like the way the iOS 10 music app looks. And a main feature I miss with the older versions of iOS is this feature right here if i can get it to work okay so i actually used to use this feature a lot like not very many people talked about it when this feature disappeared it disappeared in ios 8 i'm pretty sure and yeah i actually use this feature a lot and then same thing with ios 7 they changed it up but it was still decent i guess and yeah a lot has changed so i'm also going to take a look at google maps this is like google maps in ios before apple removed it and it's pretty snappy. I thought it would take a while to load everything, but it's pretty fast. It can load New York fairly quick, and I can zoom up on places. And overall, it's just a very good experience using the phone. Like, I think it's seven, nine years later, so pretty cool. And then you just take a look here. You can even see the traffic, which I never even knew about, but that's cool. And I just don't like the new layout of the new app for maps. I just, I actually think the older version is easier to use. So taking a look at notes, a lot has actually changed. You can now like save pictures. I just have the iOS 10 emojis here, but I just prefer the look of the notes on the iPhone 2G because it looks like an actual notepad. I'd rather take notes on like a notepad than like a white screen. But next I'm gonna look at settings. So, just loading it, it takes slightly longer on the 2G, but look at all these options we have on the iOS 10 versus iOS 3, which is just like a very small scroll worth, I guess. And like now you have a search bar, you can search stuff since there's so many options. And I'm just going to click on general. And even like a ton of new features have been added here. And like there's so many sub menus. So for usability, I'd probably say the iPhone 2G is easier to use. And I mean, there's just so many options in iOS 10. And next is a feature almost everyone uses, 
if you double click the home button you now can like see all the apps that are open but on the iphone 2g if you double click the home button it would open up a specific app now you only had a few options so right now it's set to open up the dialer but you can go into settings and then go to general and then i think it's under this thing called home yeah and then you just choose the app so i if like i was using this phone today i'd probably set it to music let me change the brightness but like if i double click the home button it'll open up music but um just looking at the calculator you can see how much has changed so there's no control center there's no notification center swiping up and down will do nothing but something that i thought was kind of cool but weird is for some reason you can't have a wallpaper for the lock screen so if you click on wallpaper and then click right here i'm just going to choose these wallpapers so i set it for my lock screen and my home screen but on the iphone 2g it'll only set it for the lock screen so let's turn off the devices and right now you can see the wallpapers they've also changed the wallpapers i personally like the look of the older wallpapers but i guess the ios 7 wallpapers were probably my favorite anyways thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next video peace out